fabulous people welcome to the channel for all the babes who create their own light trends and welcome to rome italy today i'm going to show you guys how to use metro station in rome and this video has been inspired by so many of you who i've seen struggling by the ticket machines who i've seen trying to figure out your way around the city around metro station so today i'm going to make this video very useful very quick very informative for you and please remember guys if you're new to my channel make sure that you press that subscribe button and for everyone and i mean everyone please remember to press the like button and yes let's get started the first thing you need to know about Rome Metro is that there are three subway lines, but we will focus only on the main two. The orange one, Line A, with the most important stations to know are Termini, Barberini, that's your stop for the Trevi Fountain, Spagna for the Spanish Steps, Flaminio for Piazza del Popolo, and Ottaviano for the Vatican Museum. And the blue one, Line B, with the most important stops, Termini, Colosseo, that's for Colosseum, and Circo Massimo for the Circus Maximus. All right, guys, every time you see this M sign, I like how I'm matching with it, that means this is an indication for a metro station. So anytime you see it, go in there, guys, and it will take you straight underground to where you guys will further continue to your destination. Once you're inside Rome Metro, you can purchase your tickets either at the ticket office or a ticket machine. A single ticket will cost you 1 euro and 50 cents per ride, and these tickets can also be used on buses, trams, and commuter trains within the city. If you plan on visiting Rome for a few days and using the metro more than once, you can choose among different ticket options like a 24 hour ticket, which is 7 euros. 48 hour one which is 12 euros and 50 cents and so on one thing to keep in mind guys that even though you can buy a ticket for the metro station at the ticket office or a ticket machine you can also use your credit card to just get inside the metro you do not need to buy a ticket i personally prefer this method in case there is a huge line at the ticket office a ticket machine isn't working or when I'm simply in a rush. All you have to do is to just tap on the display at the entrance gate with your credit card instead of inserting the ticket. Fast, simple and convenient. One very important thing to keep in mind if you plan on visiting Rome and thinking about staying in areas like Trastevere, Campo de Fiori or Piazza Navona is that those three areas are not very well connected to the metro. So. If you do plan on staying in those areas, just keep in mind that you will be walking a lot to discover Rome or to the nearest metro station. All right, fabulous people. Right now, you and I are in Termini. Termini is your central point from switching from line B to line A or from line A to line B when you need to. Please keep in mind that Termini station is always super busy. So. Pay close attention to the signs as well as your belongings. If you are not sure where to go, you can ask working personnel as Termini can get a bit confusing even for locals. As you learned today, both Line A and Line B will take you to Termini. And from Termini, not only you can take a train to go to other parts of Italy, but you can also take a train or a bus to go to the airport. So if you don't feel like taking a taxi to go to the airport, you can arrive to this train station and then select either a train or a bus to take you to the airport. Thank you so much for watching Fabulous People. I truly hope that you learned a lot today and your next trip to Rome will be as stress-free as possible. Please remember, if you haven't done so, to smash that like button right now and of course and my mask is coming off and of course if you're new to my channel and my vibe and the vibe of this channel resonates with you please consider subscribing sending you so much love from Rome Italy I'll see you guys in the next video